this is the, the mobile art market um, made for the Expo Fund for the Art Festival to kind of take um, the work of emerging artists out of the, the gallery space and into um, Edinburgh during the festival to newer and uh, um, diverse audiences. Um, the work is mostly artist books and uh, fanzines and just ephemeral publications made by mostly local um, Glasgow, Edinburgh and Dundee based artists. My name is Caroline Alexander, I'm the Gallery Director of the Corn Exchange Gallery in Leith in Edinburgh and um, we are showcasing Atsu Akamoto, who's uh, our Japanese artist. We've also placed some of Atsu's art in Gayfield Square Gardens. I'm Susan Grant and I work with Big Things on the Beach, which is based in Portobello. This year's installation is called Black Swan and it's made up of 13 fruit machines installed on Portobello Beach. Um, they're powered, uh, but they're silent, so they're flashing 24 hours. Um, and so they really come into their own at night time. And during the day, the artist wanted a feeling of sort of fly tipping also. So they have a, a beautiful versus ugly sort of dimension. It's great when people can go to galleries to view art, but um, I think, you know, when we do bring it to them, it gives the artists and the art, um, you know, the exposure that they need and deserve. I can take this anywhere, I can take it into a collective or in Relief House and I can put the work in there. So it kind of works both ways, taking it out of the gallery but also taking new work in as well. I think people are always interested in coming to see public artworks because they're in a very different environment from galleries. It's a shared space so it brings up issues of, shape, of ownership of the space um, and people have quite a different reaction to the artworks.